Hi, I'm Hayley from Parallel Coaching and welcome to today's video where I'm going to teach you how to remember the origins and insertions of your upper arm ready for your level three anatomy and physiology exam. Now, if you stay around to the very end, then not only have they got lots of muscle memory hacks for you along the way, but there's a great download for you to help you with that revision as well. As part of your level three anatomy and physiology exam, you actually need to know 50 muscles and know their origins and insertions. So it's really important to find a way that we can break those down and that's what we're gonna to do today. But just for the biceps brachii and triceps brachii, which are the two arm muscles that you need to know in detail. So let's explore the two muscles of the upper arm that we need to know. These are the biceps brachii and the triceps brachii. Now, the reason why you need to know this with the word brachii on the end and not just in gym slang, now the gym slang is just biceps and triceps, but you need to know that brachii means of the arm. So whenever you hear the word brachii, and that also is the same for your brachial artery and also for your brachialis, it means of the arm. Now, this is gonna help you from getting confused when you see the word biceps femoris on your multiple choice exam. So it's a way of having absolute clarity. Always use it as biceps brachii and triceps brachii. The second thing that you need to know is the location of the muscles of the upper arm and remember what way round they are. So the first place to think is that if you stand in a neutral position, so that is always with your palms facing forwards, hands down by the side. When you're standing in that position, your biceps are the ones on the front, which is classed as anterior, and your triceps are the one on the back, which is classed as posterior. So make sure you remember the difference that biceps are on the front, triceps are on the back. That's gonna massively help you later on when we look at the origins and insertions. But as part of that, you also need to know that these two are paired. They're like husband and wife. When one is talking, the other one listens and they kind of work on a contraction and relaxes basis. So we class them as agonist antagonist pairs between the bicep brachii and tricep brachii. So you now know two really important things about both the biceps brachii and the triceps brachii. You know the name and you know the location. So the next thing to layer onto that knowledge is the joint that it crosses. Now the joints that are being crossed here in both circumstances are the shoulder and the elbow, which is really, really key. So it crosses two joints. If you know this, you now know that the origin must be above the shoulder and the insertion must be below the elbow. So you already have an idea. So if you totally don't remember anything else that I tell you, if you know that and you know these first three steps, then you can always do elimination when you get to your multiple choice exam. So that's the very bare minimum to remember. And that is a massive memory hack to help you. Here is another memory hack. Now this is to remember which way round the origin and insertion are. This is the, the origin is the one closest to the heart and when we're talking about appendages, so we're talking about our limbs. So it will go heart, origin, joint, and then insertion. In our case, we've got two joints, so it's double J, but um, you'll notice that this spells an acronym of HOJI. So whenever you're looking at the limbs in particular, use HOJI to help you remember that the origin is the one that is closest to the heart, the insertion is the one that's past the joint. So let's break down each of these muscles in detail with their origins and their insertions. So the biceps brachii originates on the anterior surface of the scapula. Now this can be broken down in a lot more detail, but for level three, just know it's the anterior of the scapula. Now earlier, do you remember I said that the anterior was the front of the body and that's where the bicep is? Remember, bicep equals front equals anterior, therefore it's on the front of the scapula and you can see that really clearly on this image. Now then it crosses two joints, like I said, it crosses past the shoulder, it crosses past the elbow and then it'll insert right down on the radius, it's on the upper radius and that's the insertion point for your bicep brachii. So now you know the two attachment points for the biceps brachii, you know it's anterior scapula and you know it's on the upper radius, then you can break down and know what joint action that makes. So if you imagine the line of fiber running between those two points, then if you imagine that that gets smaller, it's gonna cause elbow flexion, definitely, but it also causes shoulder flexion as well, which is lifting of the arm up in front like this. So shoulder flexion and elbow flexion. Now the way to remember that this is responsible for pulling actions, because for some reason, a lot of trainee fit pros really get confused on the fact that biceps or triceps, which ones pull, 
Biceps do the pulling and the way to remember that with this really corny kind of way of remembering it is that big biceps pull with girls. Now whether that is totally true or not, I will leave entirely up to you but I'm sure it'll help you remember it. Big biceps pull with girls. Triceps brachii also has an origin point up around the scapula and an insertion point on the forearm. But remember, instead of being on the front of the body, we're now looking at the back of the body. So let's have a look at this one in particular. So the, this originates on the posterior upper humerus, so the very top of the long bone of our upper arm, and then on, also on the posterior scapula. So it's in the posterior scapula. And then that crosses the shoulder and the elbow and then goes down onto the upper ulna. Now I have a little trick for you for remembering this. So the difference between the radius and the ulna, if you ever have to pick this out of an image, is that the if you put your thumb up, the ulna is the one underneath. So thumbs up, ulna underneath. So you for underneath, you for ulna, and it's the one that's basically in line with your little finger all the way down. But it's a nice trick way of remembering it. Thumbs up, ulna is underneath. Triceps brachii does the opposite to biceps brachii in terms of action as well. So remember we had flexion of the elbow and the shoulder for biceps. This time we have extension of the elbow and the shoulder. So extension of the elbow is that opening back out and extension of the shoulder is with your arms down by your side. So that is the role of the triceps brachii. If you like this video, then make sure you hit the little thumbs up button below and also check out our other origins and insertions videos as well. Also, please leave us a comment. So let us know what your biggest takeaway is from this video. What was the biggest memory hack that you learned? Also be sure to share and subscribe to our channel so that you can get future notifications whenever we have new videos coming live. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.